Hey fellow content creators, this is your boy Kahiso M with another video. Um, this past weekend we actually went and shot a music video and the main aim was to shoot the music video, test uh, the RAW from the Canon C70 and also test the CFast to SSD adapter on the Canon C200. So today i'm not going to talk about the music video i'm not going to talk about the c fast adapter i'm going to talk about the c70 raw in case you missed it a couple of weeks back um canon updated the firmware on the c70 and they have added a couple of things including raw so you get the raw light let me put it this way it's called canon raw light but then you get the light mode, you get the standard, and you get the HQ, which is the high quality. Um, on the high quality, uh, it actually crops further into a 16 millimeter. So as you know, this is a 35 millimeter and you can shoot uh, raw light or LT and standard on 35 mil. And as soon as you go into the high quality, the HQ, uh, you have to use 16 millimeter that means cropping more so i have seen a couple of videos where um after a, 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 a canon updated the firmware on the c70 where creators or creatives were actually uh, testing the raw from the c70 and what happened they compared it to the 10 bit that you get from the camera and see what's the difference so for me it's personally it's not the right way of um, seeing what raw can do because you shoot 10 bit you shoot raw you do the same grading then you check as if the sharpness uh, is there extra sharpness on um, the raw or if the colors looks better on the raw for me personally that is not the right way and i don't think and i don't believe that is what a raw is meant for so i'm going to try and explain uh, raw in a layman's term so that uh, even the beginners beginners because most of my videos i'm making them for beginners they can understand uh, what raw exactly is um, how to process it uh, and the advantages that come with raw so i'm going to start with the usual rec 709 then come to the 10 bit and um, explain raw compared to the two. So I'm going to give a scenario. So your Rec 709, which usually is what you get straight from the cameras with, with colors baked in, pretty much what we used to, how we used to shoot uh, before the DSLRs and the mirrorless uh, got the log file. So we were shooting straight Rec 709 with all the colors baked in, we get on post, um, we'll put a little bit of uh, little bit of saturation if we need it or desaturate a little bit and then do our exposure, pretty much send it, um, export or render, then send it to the customer or the client. So the Rec 709 is more like if you get to a coffee shop and you order coffee then they put the water they put the raw coffee put sugar put milk stir and give you that's the rec 709 there's not really much you can do um, if you need less sugar in there you cannot take out the less sugar you actually maybe have to add coffee or water so that the sugar is a little bit less um, if you need a little uh, uh, if you need less milk you have to add coffee so that it looks like there's less milk so there's not much you can uh, you can still navigate it uh, but you know you, you are sort of already have boundaries how far you can push it that's pretty much your rec 709 so the next one is the 10 bit log or let me not even say 10 bit let me say log because you can even shoot 8 bit log so your log which normally behind your screen is desaturated um, pretty much what you see right now on the screen it's uh, i'm shooting lock on the fujifilm now so um 
it's like you're getting your coffee um, instead of putting three sugar or two sugar you put one you put a little bit of milk uh, you put less coffee and then you put water so if you need more you can add more sugar uh, you can add more coffee you can add more milk because you didn't add uh, the quantities that uh, you are you likely want in the beginning so you sort of have uh, a leeway as to adding other things so that you get the coffee the way you like it so that's pretty much the scenario now getting on to raw you're actually getting um you're getting a video from i'm just going to call it a video but pretty much it's not really a video it's like you're getting your ingredients right from the sensor you're getting all the sensor information so instead of uh, putting one sugar a little bit of milk and a little bit of coffee mixed mixed with water you are actually getting um i'll put it like a box or a cup of milk um with your coffee is still in a tin uh, or its own container you're getting your sugar still on its container and those things are not mixed so you're getting them in a bucket closed you can take them home when you get home you can see what uh, you want to do with them so pretty much you have your leeway um because when you get on post you can actually pretty much change a lot of things you can change your iso depending also on uh, the software you'll be using you can change your iso you can uh, you have a leeway on your uh, temperature on your tint uh, more leeway on say uh, on Canon, we shot uh, C log 2. Uh, we can actually even change from there and use C log 3. Or we can just um, use the WDR, the wide dynamic range. So you, you actually have a big leeway of how you want your coffee to be done. So after this explanation, um, let's jump on to the PC and then let me show you what. Uh, what do I mean when I'm saying you have a leeway of changing your parameters um, long after you have left um, your the shooting? So let's jump on the onto the PC right now. Now that we are here in front of the PC, um, let's look at. Um, I do have a license for Assimilate, and Assimilate also maybe because it opens so quick i have never seen a software this quick <laughs> so assimilate also you can use it to transcode it from raw to or actually from any other codec to a different codec um, i tried uh, to transcode the canon raw light and i don't like the way uh, it works uh, when it comes to canon raw light I'm not sure with other codecs or I was doing anything wrong. But anyway, it is a good software and it's extremely fast. So I'm just going to close it, exit, and I'm going to use Cinema Raw Development from Canon. So open it. Um, you can also pretty much use a, a, your NLE. Uh, Premiere Pro also does support camera raw light. You are able to uh, maneuver uh, the raw light inside Premiere Pro. So let's see. This is uh, Canon raw light. Um, it's already on this because I previously was working on this. So I resetted everything back to how it was shot. So you normally start here on the left. This is where you're going to navigate into the folder where your raw is. Um, I have a bit of an issue. If if I go to a folder where I have a lot of raw files, um, the cinema raw light just bombs out. So hence now you'll only see one here. So I didn't want it to bomb out when I do uh, this demonstration. So this is the raw file that I have. You can see the type there. That's the name of um, this clip. So what you'll see on the right hand side on the preview is your shoot settings so this is how 
we, sh we, we, we did the shoot. Um, our temperature, so you can just go and say click white balance or custom white balance. Um, it's up to you how you want to do this and you can also change your tint. So you can move from that to 15,000 15, or all the way to 2,000. So I'm just going to put it around that and you can also do your tint. Um, the ISO, we shot that 800. And you can see it's actually clipping at the back there. Um, we didn't have enough light um, to actually get that to work. Anyway, that's not an issue. Um, I'm just going to say custom and I'm going to give it one stop of light. Uh, in fact, there is where you can see the waveform monitor. So you can see the waveform monitor there. You can see there what's clipping is that and the blacks were not clipping so this is a bit darker from the waveform monitor then i'm just gonna go one stop of light up which is that so i'll leave it here for now then so this is iso in fact so it's iso 1600 and you can work with your brightness there it's up to you you can also increase the sharpness um, that's another reason I was saying you shouldn't look at raw uh, comparing it to a log file and check which one is sharper which no this is your sensor information so you have leeway to play with it so I can just put it on one doesn't really matter um, I honestly am not sure what is this NR because if I push it there I can see something is happening but uh, let's just leave it there. Now this is your color space. We shot cinema gamut from the camera and we are on Canon Log 2. So we know from Canon, um, uh, Canon Log 2 uh, pretty much it give you um, the widest dynamic range of the camera where it preserves both the highlights and, and the shadows. So if you think maybe this is too bright you know you don't you want your 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 darker uh your shadows to go darker so you can you can choose your canon log 3 so you just changed from canon log 2 to canon log 3 and this you cannot really do or easily do if you have shot a 10 bit i mean if you have shot log because your log, your log, whichever log you shot uh, will remain as that. Um, you can change your, your scene using um, exposure, whether using the curves or using the sliders. But it's simple here. And the Canon Log 3 on this scene looks a bit much better. You can actually even on the cinema gamut, let's say you don't want to do a lot of... Um, color grading you can actually go and choose your colors so you are there on your uh, rec 709 color space and there you have your, your your color there and you can see that you have some bit of pinky show but anyway that is not um the reason for this video and you still didn't clip on your blacks and of course you clipped there on the whites there where there's nothing um where there's no roof there anyway it doesn't really matter this is how much i wanted to show you um that on raw you have leeway a lot of leeway to change how uh the shoot went on set and what you can do on post and this is a lot powerful so anyway let's go back to the table um from here you can pretty much um export it you will have to click whichever you want to if you have many and you can add it to the export queue and on the export queue you also um have what do you call it you have you can change what what your export settings so let's uh where do we go now am i lost uh probably Okay, this is where you uh, where where you choose whether you use the CPU or you use your graphics card um, to process. 
So let's go here. Start export export configuration. There you are. So you can choose where how to export it. Um, use the same. I use the same file name as raw. Uh, it's up to you what you do there. You can choose where you want to export this. And also, are you exporting a proxy, a full quality files, depending on what you choose on here, or a copy of a raw file. So on here, you can actually choose you want a 10 bit. It will export a DPX file. Um, you are able to take a DPX file and put it on your nonlinear uh, software or your editing software. Then you can actually choose whatever you want to choose. You also have a choice of wide dynamic range. Um, let's see, you have a couple of things. I'm not sure this, does it also only apply on C300 and C500 or what's happening? I'm not sure, but I actually concentrated on on this. Um, you can also see how your wide dynamic range will be if you want to use that. If you just come here and say, oh, is it there? wide dynamic range, then you can actually see how it looks. So that's what I wanted to show you the leeway you have when it comes to uh, shooting raw. So now let's go back to the table. Now that we are back on the table, uh, I hope that you understood uh, what RAW actually is and uh, particularly Canon Cinema RAW Lite. I haven't, sh I haven't shot any other RAW um, except the Canon uh, 70 and the C200. So guys, um, yeah, pretty much that is that. And going forward on the short format videos or filming, like your music video, I definitely will be using RAW. Uh, there is clearly an advantage there. And for other things like long events, I would rather shoot a uh, Rec 709 or 10 bit. Pretty much I've been shooting 10 bit and I like it. So this is your boy Kahiso M. And please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and call your friends to also come watch and understand what uh, Canon Cinema Raw Light is and the advantages. For now, I'm out of here. Peace be with you.